Hi Scorpio, welcome to your past life karmic lessons. So let's take a look. What are the things that you need to learn from your past life and fulfill in your present life? Let's take a look. Please take note that this is only a general reading, okay? It might resonate to you. It might resonate. It might not resonate. Asia. Love life. Lessons and blessings. Authority figures. Oh. Spirituality and religion. Either you're working right now presently in the field of law, legal, banks, finances, security, uh, investigation and stuff, or you're studying law, or you have that gifted knowledge about law. Let's pull out three more. Spouse. Native American. Oh, male and female. All right. You serve as a knight in a castle or palace in the past, and uh, because of this, you were actually trained how to shield yourself and how not to entertain any outsiders. You're not going to be like, um, you don't really uh, talk if you're not asked to, especially to strangers. And you're very well reserved. <laughs> and you were born right around Eastern Europe. And you're also very religious and for some reason you have gone through such a dire kind of living you've had a communal living and you were not really born rich or you know like a very well-off person in your first life and you lived in asia now your love life right now is the one that's been affecting your karmic connection or karmic life or karmic cycle that's been pertaining in your present life the lessons and blessings that you need to learn from your past life down to your present life. Those are the things that you need to jot down and adapt it. Okay? And finish off whatever that needs to be finished. Now, you also work as an authority figure, which is, you know, being a knight, like a guard. And uh, right now, either you're working in the legal, military, police, banks, finance, security, investigation, and stuff like that. And... Um, I also feel like um, you're very good in analyzing, you're very good in your judgment, and you're very good in, it's like you have a very advanced knowledge, or you have a very advanced mind, okay, that not all people have. And as, as I've said, you're very religious, spirituality and religion. You have very frail health, either you're too thin or you're too fat right now. Okay, but still your health has a lot of problems. You do have especially asthma that I'm picking up and heart ailments and some lung problems. And you're very, uh, you know, you do have strong faith. Okay, you're also very, it's like you do practice your faith, you do practice your religion uh, regularly. And I feel like you always pray if there is something that you need, if there's something that you feel like you're looking for some guidance. And you don't really have to worry about it because your angels are guiding you. You are also, you also f wandered off away from your family or away from your own, let's say, house at a very early age just to serve your country or just to serve the palace or the, the, the castle, okay? Now, you were married to a Native American in the past, or you were a Native American and you married somebody that is different from you. But actually, no, you're, you're actually um, served as a knight in your palace. So I feel like you, you were married or you fell in love with someone who's of a different language, culture, and tradition, which is more, most likely a Native American. And you live as a male and female in your past life. So you're both in touch with your feminine side or masculine side. Now, the lesson that you need to learn, which is I don't feel like you have, okay. The thing here is, because you've had, 
I mean, you've gone through a difficult kind of life. And most of the time, right now you're very well financially and well established, okay, financially. And I feel like you know how to establish yourself as well. But the karmic connection and the karmic relationship that you're going to be in to somebody, which is I feel like either this is what you need to finance or support or this person have to support you altogether. Now, you've got a lot of fears, okay? And you shouldn't actually live within your fear because otherwise that is where you are creating imbalance. And I feel like you were also imprisoned in one of your past lives, especially in the, when during the time of BC. And you have suffered from an unrequited love. Now you were sold as a slave uh, during this time and during your past life. And I feel like you have tried to set yourself free or you have tried to bought your freedom. Okay. Now, the, karm the, uh, the, the lesson that you need to learn from this is that you always wanted to be with somebody who is more financially stable or who is more independent or who is more reliable financially. The thing here is you cannot really choose who your heart should beat for. And you cannot really choose your own soulmate. You cannot design them. Okay? They come as a package and they come for who they are. So you need to accept them or you need to let go of them. All right. Let's take a look. What's the thing that you need to learn about love? And you've always suffered from an unrequited love. Especially if, you are, if you're always getting entangled in an affair or being the side person. The side chick or the side dude. Okay. Let's take a look. Deception, playfulness, and yeah, I just mentioned that, you know, if you're the side chick or the side dude. Mm -mm. Love yourself first, let's go, control issues, honeymoon. You know one thing about love, don't settle for anything less, okay? You're looking for that kind of love because you've wandered off your your family at a very early age just to work so now you're looking for that kind of guidance or for that kind of um warmth okay of having someone there to protect you keep you warm when it's cold and give you a hug when you know when you just needed some comfort or even kiss you and uh, of course share some intimate moments with but unfortunately, you always fall in the lap of someone that doesn't really fit your, you know, like somebody who really deserves you. Sometimes you're always looking for someone who's older than you. Someone who, you know, more likely either a father or a mother figure and someone who will be taking care of you. But the thing here is sometimes you don't really care what is the relationship status, okay? So don't fall for this and don't be a victim of this. Never ever settle for less when you can have the best. Now, the deception, I feel like it works both ways. Either you're the one who's deceiving or you're the one who's always getting deceived. You also need to loosen up and stop playing around with love. Okay, if you're not serious, then don't don't be in a relationship or don't even commit or don't give them a false hope don't make any promises you do connect with a lot of people because you're a very easygoing and loving and charming person you're also very funny now the past life relationship that you've had with somebody this is also going to be repeating because the one that you're going to be meeting or the one that you're with right now is somebody who will be giving you a lesson or somebody who will be reminding you that there's there that there's still more to life rather than just materialism Okay, you also need to love yourself first, let go of control issues, and you need to reside in a place where it's far from your family. That is where you're going to be getting the suitability of lifestyle that you want and the peace of mind. And uh, you will be meeting somebody who's also of a different culture, tradition, and a different language than you. And this could be the one. Now, you need to give your relationship a chance because most of the time you're very pessimistic and skeptical about things and you tend to put words into someone else's mouth right before it happens, okay? You're also a very passionate person and you need to learn how to trust, okay? And you also need to learn how to be trusted. 
don't break someone else's trust if you feel like you know um if you feel like you're very complacent you're very um confident or very familiar with them already or very comfortable and uh, don't try to break their trust okay treasure them and value them let's take a look at your general cards what are the things that you need to learn still in this present life You're having a hard time getting along with other people because even if you do have a lot of friends, sometimes you do want to spend your time alone. You love communicating with your friends and getting in touch, but you're not really revealing them while you're contacting them. Okay. Um... Sometimes you're too sharp observant, but you're also very gullible, especially when it comes to love, okay? You also need to learn how to communicate and express yourself, learn how to say no when it's the right answer to say to, and you also need to, to surround yourself with healthy friends, and do not cross the line with your friends. And another thing is, most of the time you always get betrayed in love. You always, the deception came out already. So this also came out here, but you have what you have to learn right now is that it's it will always be a part of human nature. It will always be a part of our existence in life. Okay, that there's more to to that there's more crying, drama, and betrayal, lies, deception, and betrayal. You know, in love rather than happiness and rainbows and candies. Okay, and uh, I feel like you will find your self-fulfillment. Your calling is in another country or another city or another place, but not wherever you are, wherever you grow up with, or not where your family lives. You need to move away from your family as well so that you can discover who you, who you really are and explore your potential. Now, you need to start on your own, and uh, you can always rebuild yourself, okay? And I feel like you will have a, it's like you want to create your own home. But how can you create your own home if you will always cut off people out of your life? Okay? If you will always venture out and think that they're always out there to hurt you, affect you, and stuff like that. And... I feel like you also need to learn how to accept the changes that life has been giving you instead of pushing them away. And your great karma will start from fire sign people who are older than you. And, or, you know, even, or if, especially if it's, if that is their moon rising. And, uh, you will also experience some. Um, what do you call this, injustices when it comes to relationships, especially if you will be changing your mind and changing your, you know, your heart into a particular situation. When it comes to money, it's, you, you won't have any problem with this, okay? You won't have any problem raising money, having money, or getting money, or getting a figure for the things that you want. You will always live a very comfortable life. But the thing here is your faith and your... Let's say, I feel like your soulmate is an earth sign, or even if, or if maybe this is their moon rising. This is the one that will be, um, that will be, um, giving you a lot of care, understanding, and concern, okay? 
And I feel like this person came from across the water or across the city or across the country. So the two of you speaks different language or different, or you came from different cultures and traditions. Now what you need to learn, you have to overcome and you need to don't brand people or don't label people. You need to trust your own intuition. And uh, when you, when someone puts their trust in you, learn how to value it. And when you're already with somebody, it's you have to prioritize your own life and not your family. As I've said that you need to wander off away from your family like, like, like what you have done in your first life or in your past life, okay? So I also feel like you need to not to settle for anything less just because that someone is showing their affection or you know their admiration towards you because it's so hard for you you're a very shy person and it's so hard for you to find love that's why when someone displays affection or admiration or whatever it is even if they are no longer available you feel like that's the one it's not okay the one who's going to be presenting to you which is i feel like you're going to be uh, meeting your soulmate if you're single around the month of december and january okay and this person is an earth sign and for those who's already taken it is already somebody from your past that you've already met been with whether you're in a relation whether you've been in a relationship or just friendship or just like your schoolmate or something like that okay but for those who's already married you will be meeting this person this end of the year okay but while you're already married you don't feel like both of you will be crossing the line and don't cross the line with your friends okay because once you if the relationship will not work out then the friendship will also go down all right so right now mm -hmm. okay so right now let me pull up more clarifications Well, next year you will have a very active career and you will have a very active uh, business or investment as well. And you're going to be very busy. So if you cannot find love or if you're not going to be meeting anybody this year, you will most likely stay single next year because you're going to be so super busy. Okay, your, your work life is about to take off. Oh, good for you. All right, so that's it for you for this time, Scorpion. If you want to talk to me, love with the phone or love with the calls or get your own past life um, reading, okay? Just go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net. Blessings to you.